Anyway, if you are offended, who care? Read with me. Oh, so, sorry, he's saying war, not we are. I'm, I'm sorry. He said war. I, I thought he said we are, not cheap. Okay, war is not cheap nor free, Christian Prince. Trump is right. Who? Hmm? What war? What are you talking about? There's no war. Same time, who's forcing you to, uh, to spend money? You don't spend money for them. You don't. We have a budget in this army, regardless if we are there or here. Who is forcing you to stay in Germany? Come back home. Like, did the German, you know, hold you from your legs and tie you with nails in the ground? No. Why we have bases in Turkey? Why we pay Turkey? How come we don't say the same to Turkey? How come Trump did not say the same to Turkey? Oh, he don't uh, open his mouth with Turkey because he have an investment there. Did he ask Turkey, how come you don't pay anything? People say things, my friend. I mean, they, they, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like people who they make comment about their country, they don't live in their country. Do they? War is not a cheap. I mean, we have a budget enough to, to build countries in the around the world. Do you know how big the budget of the Department of Defense of USA? You can't even imagine the budget side. And not only that, I have a bad news for you. Most of it is wasted. I remember when I was in the army, I went back to give my computer, to give whatever I have, you know. And then I gave her the back for the computer. She said, oh, we don't, uh, what? why bring it? I said, I, I took it with the computer. She said, oh, no, those we throw them in the garbage I said, but this is brand new it's a very nice bag brand new i just got it you know i replaced my computer a month ago and they gave me a bag with it brand new she said to me we throw it in the garbage they throw your money in the garbage and the poor soldiers when i cut my hair i remember i paid seven dollars can you believe it you cut your hair you have to pay for it in the army, the poor American soldiers, they pay for everything. And then they give me a list. Well, what is this? Socks and the price next to it. Shoes and the wear. What the heck? It turned to be, I don't even have a salary. Even they, they took from my salary for the food. Where is the money of America? They spend it in to give it to Erdogan, your soldier got nothing. We wake up 4 a.m. in the morning to for training. And then at the end of the month, you get what? Nothing. You work 24 hours a day because you have no day, you have no off. People do not know. The USA Army now is full of trance and gaze, and you are going into fighting, asking the enemy their pronouns. That's false, my friend. First of all, liberals don't join the army. You might find one from every thousand. So don't make things up. I was in the army, and 90, maybe 97% of them are Christians. Do you remember when Obama, he says, only losers join the army? Well, this is how the liberals think. So don't be stupid. Very few who they are liberals, they join the army. The majority are Christians. And that is the fact. This is why in Sunday, when they say who want to go to the church, everybody is there.
Uh, Trump actually the the Turkish dollar. Yes, he did. He did. He, there was a priest. He was arrested, and he forced Erdogan to release him. But this is the question: As long he can do that to the Turkish currency, how come only he care for that priest? I will tell you why: for election purpose. His church they make a pressure on him, and they need them. He need them for election. But Trump, he did not make any pressure in Turkey in all serious issues. Uh, were you afraid sometime in the army? No. I'm a person who went through many things in his life. And uh, afraid is not one of my... Uh, man you otherwise if i'm afraid why i want to join the army i joined the army during the war which means i know they will send me to the front line the front line especially i you know i speak arabic and i have degrees in islamic law so i know where i'm going to go i will not be at war only i will be in the very very front line it's like now you join the israeli army during the time they are going to gaza Lotto, he said he heard that Paul was a gay. Why? Can you show me the reference where Paul was kissed by men and they kiss him down his belly like your prophet? Because I did not hear. I saw that in your books. This is your prophet, Lotto. He was getting topless and the man was kissing him down his belly. And he was saying, O oh, Prophet of Allah, this is what I wanted. Do you see it? So who is the gay? Do you dare to call me and show me how you heard that Paul was a gay? I'm showing you that your Prophet is a gay in front of you. Read it. Isn't it your Prophet is the one who pee like a woman? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he put eyeliner three times a day? Can you show me the reference where Paul he put eyeliner to be pretty like your prophet? <laughs> your prophet he said he never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha. Potato. Trump did something, it is better than nothing, CP. My friend, but this is not what you should do because you are a president of the most powerful nation in the world. So what he did is something, nothing. This is nothing. Don't tell me he did something. This is not what we voted for him to be. What something? When Erdogan, he took the church, as long as he can make the currency of Turkey go down for a priest. What about our holy church? in Kostanabur. He went to Facebook and Twitter. He posted a dish. He said, this is my favorite dish. He did not even, I was waiting for him to say something, not even a single word. I say to you, Trump is a coward man. The Iranian, they attack us hundreds of times when he was a president. He did nothing. Nothing. They took a drone, cost a billion dollars. And he did nothing. He did not even take one of their tanks. Trump, maybe he is a six foot tall, but he have a heart of a mice. And this is why the Iranian, they laugh at him. Trump is a coward, but still I vote for him. Yeah, because simply, he will fix the economy. He will oppose the woke culture, all those Democrat madness. And still he is better than them because we have no other choice. Do we have a third person to vote for? Obviously you're an idiot. You do not know the election in America. We have only two. <laughs> Give me the third one to vote for him. Don't talk like a potato. You know how potato is? Potato doesn't have a shape. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it's tall. Sometimes it's white. Sometimes it's round. Don't be a potato. 
So you don't think, uh, so Trump is a coward and you vote for him? We, do, we don't have a choice. Biden is a coward too. <laughs> Trump is a pro-America? Well then, you don't give the land to the Russian and the Iranian and then they can attack Israel and attack us. This guy, he just think about making business and money. All what Trump cared for is to win the election second time when he was a president. This is why he was when he wanted to withdraw from Syria, he wanted to withdraw from Europe, he wanted to withdraw from everywhere. But then the enemy they come come to your border. Mm. Trump is a pro dollar not pro america but he knew he have to sell something to the american i mean if you have ice cream and you want to sell it in the winter how many people will buy from you few there's a few people who like to eat ice cream in winter but if you come when it is 110 degree and you say i have ice cream then everybody will buy it so each one from both sides he have to do marketing so he had to present himself, both of them, that they love America. Both of them. Don't tell me they are pro-America. They are pro their pocket. This is why Trump, he hired his son-in-law to be consultant. And this is why Qatar, they rented his building. I mean, did Qatar, is Qatar is a pro-America country? So maybe maybe Qatar they wanted to support the finance of the family of Trump because he's a bro America. <laughs> so so Qatar they rented a building from his son-in-law for one billion for ninety-nine years because Trump he is a bro America. Oh boy. I just told you, when you see the Muslim praising you, supporting you, that means you are a potato. I just told you that. What's wrong with people? Why Qatar? They rented it from his son-in-law. America have billions of businessmen. And they have a lot of towers in New York. And for $1 billion, you can buy the tower. Not renting the tower. Ibn Carter, don't worry about me not knowing politics. If you don't like to listen to me, you can leave. Nothing like this happened when Trump, he was a president. What do you mean? Antifa, they were burning cars in the street and he did nothing. Four months after the election, Antifa is all over the road. The stupid Trump, he could not stop them. You guys, I don't know. I don't know. You watch, you watch Mickey Mouse or cartoon or what? It's the same garbage. We are talking about politics, Ibn Carter. Don't come here. Leave. No, I can complain because I voted for him. I voted for him because we have no other choice. See, people, they keep repeating the same stupid thing. You cannot complain because you voted for him. Well, for sure I have to vote for him. Otherwise, we will have Obama stupid uh, line. Obama number one, Obama number two, Obama number three. And they will go and praise Islam. That's why we voted for him. Uh, Trump, he did not praise Islam, but he praised Muslims. He go to Saudi Arabia, he is proud about sending them weapon. He, you know, he defend Qatar, he protect Qatar, he left the sanctions in Qatar, he became the puppy of Qatar. A bunch of idiots. Do we have any Mohammedan? My advice to you, don't have a high hope of anybody. Because in reality, they are not what they say before election. The reality is, 
after election. What do you think about deportation and what do you think about deal with mass migration? Well, I mean, what you can say in this country, uh, you know, you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Those uh, uh, Republican, how many presidents we have before? Republican, Democrat, how come this border never been fixed? How many years this country is established? What is missing? What missing is uh, simple. They don't want the border to be closed because simply migration bring a lot of poor employment and those who they are the major companies who they are needing employees, illegal employees, they need them. That's why the borders will always be open. Gangs and drugs and weapon always is smuggled from the border. What happened now? Suddenly now they are awake. Well, it's election year. When the election is over, nobody will think about it no more. Why you complain about international strategy of Trump? Because it's wrong. I mean, people are so uh, Why, you know, Christian Prince, why you complain? Because it's stupid. If you take your, your forces from Syria, who is going to take over? Iran. Is that what you want? So Iran will be in the border with Israel. And if Israel collapse, who is the only, only strategic base USA have? Europe, they don't have any base. And I will tell you why. When the war happened in Iraq, the Turkish, they refused to allow you to use their land, which means your NATO is a, is a, is a, is a fraud. When they want, they can allow you to use their land, even though you have many bases. You have, they have three bases in Turkey. Still, Erdogan did not allow them to use it. So what the, why we have a base there? It was for nothing. They could not even use the base even to supply food and gas. The only one you have you can trust is Israel. And the plan of Trump will lead that all the enemy of Israel will be so close to the borders. And Israel is a small, tiny country. So if Trump, he think he is smart and he is he care for Israel, he should be the last one to think of leaving Israel alone there. In my opinion, he was a donkey when he made that decision. This is my opinion. But am I going to vote for him next time? I will. For sure. Yeah, Erdogan is a smart man. And the Western are a bunch of idiots. Can I blame Erdogan for being smart and for them to be, you know, he's smart. They are donkeys. Uh, all right. My friend, you see, people, they keep saying things. Like now here, you know, somebody's saying about Armenia. Armenia are guilty. And let me tell you what is their guilt. Number one guilt is a stupidity. You don't protect your country by somebody chanting for you in America. Like now, those are chanting for Palestine. Are they protecting the Palestine? No, they are just a bunch of idiots. So Armenian are guilty because they become a friend to Iran. Iran. 
they friend with the devil, hoping that the Iranian will support them against Azerbaijan. But when the war happened, Iran spit at them and they said this is the land of Azerbaijan for sure. The Armenians are guilty because they trusted the Russian. And when the war happened, the Russian laugh at you and they buy tomato from Erdogan. So they are guilty because they trusted somebody else to protect them. Armenians are smart people. They are genius. They made the most powerful weapon for Russia. Why they cannot make weapon for themselves? Why you don't have a single drone? My friend, don't blame others for your disasters. It is your fault first. Are you listening? How many times I need to repeat that the one who trusts his neighbor to protect him is a stupid? Like now, South Korea, the American, they say, we will protect you. But who, who will believe in this garbage? I assure you, when the war started, the American will be the first one to fly. They are saying to Taiwan, we'll protect you. Who, who is the stupid one to believe in this? America will go in, in war with, with, with China? For what? <laughs> for Taiwan they will never do that and the only reason China is not attacking Taiwan not because of America is, uh, is, is in the side of Taiwan but because Taiwan is not an easy cookie that's all And the reason that the Chinese did not attack Korea, South Korea, or North Korea attacking South Korea because the South Koreans are powerful. That's all. If you wait for others to fight for you, I say to you, you are stupid. Trump or Biden, if they fight for you, you have to pay them. Like Kuwait, when uh, when Saddam Hussein, he occupied Kuwait, USA sent 500,000 soldiers, 250,000 right away. Imagine, almost half a million. Well, Kuwait paid, it's a business. So if you can pay them, they will come for rescue. It's not about ethnic, it's not about ethic. It's not about morality. It's not about they are Christian or a Hindu or a Jew. They don't care. Those who they are in the offices, they are gang. They don't care. They don't care if you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, if you are a Hindu, if you worship stones, if you. They don't care. They care how much you will pay. And Taiwan is there still as independent country because China knew that the attack will be extremely costly. Anyway, if you put your hope in politician, I, you know, I say to you, you are really, you are far away from reality. But in the same time, if I look at a Trump, he promised to fight everything the woke culture stand for. Okay, that's good for me as a Christian. Like DeSantis, you know, the, the governor of Florida. He changed the, the, the book school. He emptied the shelves from all his garbage books. He did a lot. He, you know, he he made Disney Disneyland collapse. So I support this man. This guy really he cleaned his estate.
We are not police of the world. Yeah, this is what the Trucker Carson says to you. But Trucker Carson is a stupid. You see, you are the most rich country because you are the police of the world. You know, I know people are naive. Do you think you are rich because money is coming from the sky? Or because you are policing the world and then Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, Turkey, everybody have to buy your weapon. So when you police the world, you sell, you show their, your power and your ability. And then your weapon will be the most desirable weapon ever. And you will be in control of the trade, the centers, businesses, everything. You are not policing the world for them. You are policing the world for yourself. You listen too much, too much to Trucker Carson. He's an idiot. If you don't police the world, Putin will. <laughs> and then he will take Taiwan and you will be out of chips and then your, your airplane will not fly. I mean, guys, do you, do you notice how silly they are? Do you notice that those who take the, his copy, this is what Trucker Carson keeps saying, we, why, we don't, why would we not police the world? You are not policing the world. Not for them, for yourself. There's only one reason they fear you and they buy from you, because you are the police of the world. People, they have a brain of a mosquito. They are so interested in Taiwan because in America, we cannot make even until now a chips in USA like Taiwan. This is how bad it is here. They forced Taiwan to open manufacturers in USA. And do you know what the Taiwan they said? They said, but your employees are stupid. They brought them up people they don't even have high school they could not even manage the machine our tax dollars support this country you, you don't support them you are not supporting them they are supporting you you need taiwan without taiwan you cannot survive you will be behind the cave time we're supporting this country you are not Trust me, you are not supporting this country. They are supporting you. You see, when the American, they give money to Israel, you are not supporting Israel. You are supporting yourself. Um... You know, we have a great example, like when the Chinese, they took over the Tibet. Okay, who dare to go against China? Nobody. Anyone? They occupy the whole country. The Dalai Lama, he ran away. He is the holy leader of the Tibet, right? But uh, the whole world knows that China took the land. Who is going to be caught in China? Why the Americans don't make sanctions against China? We don't buy from them. Everything we have at home is made in China. I mean, name for me one thing here is made around you is not made in China. Just look around you. The stand for your computer, your computer, your mouse, Apple, Apple made in China. I have my, my laptop burned. I open it, take the screws, the battery made in China. The board made in China. Everything is made in China. But it's called Apple. <laughs> Without American tax money, there is no government. What does that mean? I mean, what is you think what he's talking about? <laughs> what does that have to do with our topic? Guys, without American tax money, there's no government. Thank you very much. I just noticed that, by the way. I mean, that's amazing. You just discover without American tax, there's no government. That's amazing. My friend, people of Taiwan, they are rich. You are poor. People of Hong Kong, they are very rich. You are the poor one. You have no idea what are you talking about. 
like when they say to you China, you know, like they make fun of a China. It's made in China. Did you see China? Have you ever been in China? An American, he did not leave his town or his village. He think uh, his village is the best uh, village. And the only thing in America is the best is a freedom of a speech. The rest, we are not really in the best of, you know, we, we like you go to any country. In Ukraine, they have internet five, six, seven times faster than any place in USA. Do you know what is my speed here? If I tell you, they will laugh at me. You will think I live in Somalia. <laughs> this is why sometimes people, they lose connection or they don't hear me or etc. Because we have a speed of a village. This is America. I went to Romania. I checked my phone. The speed is, was 400. 400. Here I have a wireless. It's not even seven. <laughs> I have a router I pay for and there how much I paid is not even ten dollars ten dollars only anyway Lord have mercy if you see how China look like you will laugh but doesn't mean China is better than USA because any country have a zero freedom of speech and zero freedom, it is a very bad country. So yes, they have, they accomplish a lot, they big, build big cities, but what the point of life, if you live like a dog, somebody to tell you what to do, what to say, where you go, where you cannot go, what medicine, how many even babies you can have. So we are not praising China, but for sure, stop thinking of yourself as you are the best in the world. The world is a changing. You see, once upon the time, the Greek, they used to be the majestic, the lords of philosophy and knowledge and science. That's why if you study as a doctor, you will see all the words you read there, even medicine until now, it's coming from a Greek language. But if you look at the Greek today, or Greece today, how great Greece today is. It's in the cave time. literally in the cave time. So that can happen to USA too. And it always happened. The Persian, they used to be the, ma the most massive empire. They are gone. The Ottoman, gone. The Muslims, gone. The Roman, gone. And properly, it's your turn now. Because you have those woke culture and their madness. They are busy about the bathroom and gender. And they don't know what is women and what is a man. And this is what happens when you get rich and you be spoiled. Well, you move toward uh, the direction of uh, self-destruction. As simple as that. Uh, <clears throat> if America keep going in the direction, if we are people who keep listening to Trucker Carson or Camila Harris, well, this country is going nowhere. Because what they are doing simply, they are just... Uh, confusing you both sides they are not giving you solution they are giving you confusion so when trucker Carson says why we have to be involved here and why we have to be involved there that is showing how shallow stupid he is well you have to be involved there otherwise the enemy will be at your door you cannot ignore your size
Some people, they think if they stay in their house and they don't open the window and the door, well, the gang will not show up in their street. That is the most stupid person ever who planned for something to protect himself. CP giving USA government much credit for our country being a great for getting about the men and women supporting who support every day. Look at this guy. <laughs> what? Let's credit. What is this guy is talking about? I don't know. Lord have mercy. Hmm. Lord have mercy. Never listen to those people who just to promote stupidity. They don't know what they are talking about. And never listen to those who promote dictators. That is a clear sign of dishonesty. You see, Trucker Carson, who speak, he said the American uh, government, they're spying at his phone. Do you have a proof? And if this is true, and this is bad, how come you don't say the same about the one who invited you to to Dubai. This is the government who everyone knows they bought from an Israeli government, Israeli company, a software to spy at everybody's phone. How come he go there and he did not speak about the one who they invited him? Either you are against all of those things or you are not. So he praised Dubai, he praised Putin for the same reason he condemned America. And only stupid ones, they will believe that this guy is a good guy. If I am against spying at people as government, I should be against it everywhere. I, I guarantee you that his phone was under watch in Dubai. They watch the phone of everybody, especially when you are in their country, you have to use their network. And even if you live in America, all what they need to do, they send you a software, which is a Israeli software, text message. You don't need to download anything, just text message. And bingo, they got your phone. So why uh, why Trucker Carson praising Dubai? Did he trade, you know, praise them because of a freedom of his speech, or because of a human trafficking, or because of little girls and boys' slavery, or because uh, uh, kidnapping women, or because uh, you can open uh, laundry uh, money laundry or fake money printing? Or why he's praising them? Because he's fake. Hey, Haikin, how are you, my friend? Ahlan wa sahlan. Why do Muslim men like Bichabazi? Because, you know, pervert, they like pervert things. Chinese police station, USA. I know, I don't believe those things, you know. But, you know, even if the Chinese, they open what they call police station, USA, who allowed it? Eh, this is the question. If I open not only a police station, let us say an army base in your country, that means you are the stupid ones who allow them to happen to do it. How come we cannot do the same in their country? Because they are smarter. Your borders are is open. Your borders is open. What do we do about Turkey? Nothing. What you can do about Turkey? Prepare yourself for war. War is coming. If not the Ottoman invade you, the Iranian, they will invade you. If not the Ottoman or the Iranian, the Arab will invade you. If not the, the you know, I mean, the rest is long. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
the best security is to be ready for war is not to build high towers luxury houses no the best secure the enemy even will never think about attacking you when you are powerful enemy only think about attacking you when you are weak as simple as that so ukraine when soviet union collapsed they have a lot of nukes the stupid ukraine at that time they agree to give their weapon to american and russian for the sake of money they convince them we will help you you need money look your electricity your phones your you know we give you money give us the nukes the stupid ukrainian they trusted the american they signed a treaty american and russian they signed a treaty that nobody will invade ukraine and guess what happened ukrainian were stupid if they have nukes until now nobody will dare to touch ukraine this is what happened when you sell your weapon this is what happened when you trust your neighbor this is what happened when you seek luxury not protection oh boy <clears throat> Everything is war for me. I don't know. I mean, Johnny is a smart person. It's war is not a choice you choose. War is, is real. They could name for me one country is not struggling with war or struggle in war in the past or struggle in the war with, uh, in the future. Johnny, you are just a kid. You are just a child. I mean, it's not long time ago. The whole world was at war. It's not even 50 years ago. You are just a donkey. I don't know how short the memory of people they think the war will not happen it's just one one person he go crazy the whole the whole earth will go crazy if the guy in North Korea this little balloon if he hit one bomb in his uh, in his office the the earth will collapse if Putin he go crazy and he hit one bomb the earth will collapse you're being stupid You think there's no wars, there's no... War is, evil is real. Satan is real. If you believe that Satan is exist, then you should believe that war will come. Because war come with the evil ones. Evil ones, they cannot leave you enjoy, enjoy your life. They want to steal your house. They want to steal your money. They want to steal your wife. This is why they exist. Their goal in life is not to live in peace. Their goal in life is to conquer, steal, and get drunk. So if you are a dreamer who think the world is enjoying Valentine, you are just a fool. As soon as Turkey is able to invade Europe, they will. This is the Turkish are not invading Europe because they knew they cannot. But the day they knew that they can conquer Europe, trust me, they will be over all the way to Germany in, 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 in a week. The only reason they are not there, because simply they knew they are not strong to do so. Christian prince or a Freemason or satanic will all organization who involve in power they are satanic it doesn't matter what the name organizations who they promote let us say uh, taking over countries you know especially if they have secret plans obviously they are satanic that's why they are secretly operating You know, until now, people don't notice. They don't see it because the history repeats itself. One day, Japan occupied China. But one day, China will occupy Japan. <laughs> it's just a change of power. It's not about who is right or wrong. 
you know, like the, the Japanese, they did a lot of evil things against the Korean, the Chinese, they slaughter a lot. But trust me, just to change the power, change the balance, the Chinese will not be merciful to the Japanese, and they will do more. When the Chinese, they attacked the Tibet, and they took it, is that because they have ethic? No, this is communist. Ethic is not part of their menu. It's not in their restaurant. So the same, you know, uh, all everything you see around you, there's a war is going to happen. It's a must between India and Pakistan. It's just a matter of time. The whole world will go crazy. Just wait. So you might be lucky and you don't watch, you don't like be a part of this war where I believe hundreds of millions, if not billions, will die. The whole world is collapsing. Don't you see? Look, let us see here in this map. Who is the enemy of who? <laughs> Just in a small map. Everybody is the enemy of everybody. Name two neighbors are not enemies. What you see in the screen. Just name two for me too. Can you? This is a Greece, and this is their enemy, Turkey. And their enemy, Bulgaria, Romania, you name it. Hmm? And their enemy, Syria. And their enemy, the Iraqi. And their enemy, the Iranian. And the Iranian, they are the enemy of Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia are the enemy of Yemen. And Saudi Arabia and Emirates, they are the enemy of the government of Sudan. Or the, uh, the, uh, the uh, they call them, uh, sorry, the uh, liberation. Egypt, the enemy of Israel. Israel, the enemy of Jordan. Jordan, I mean, I'm just showing you a map. So why you have a blue sky in the top of you and you think the world is fine? Don't you see how crazy the map is? I am making an argument, no solution. No, I have the solution. The war will happen and billions will die and maybe a few will live and that's it this is the solution what solution you are talking about you reach the point of evil of no return we have no power which can burn the earth which means even if you are not living in this land you will die the nuke will have impact in the whole the earth the water the ocean the river the rain People will die everywhere. So God, he washed the earth by blood in the time of Noah. So it might be that God, he, he will not protect you no more. And he will let your evil eat you. Your own evil. So as soon as one country of those who have nukes, and now everybody will have nukes, just wait, Iran will have nukes soon. Qatar will have nukes soon. As soon we start having more Muslim countries having nuke, this earth is in the bye-bye mood. Those people, they go crazy. Look, Hamas, they attack a country have nukes. But what if Hamas have nukes? Are you thinking with me? Those people don't think. Jihad, Allahu Akbar. We die, we go to heaven. Nuke them. So what solution you are talking about? I have only one solution. Solution is to get ready for the dark days and the dark days are coming. The dark days are coming. You see, if we go right now in the, in the, uh, do you see this map here with me? 
Anyone knows why this map is not a green? Do you notice here this map here? There's a lot of white space. Anyone knows why? This is all is desert. That's a reason for war. They don't have water no more. That alone is a reason for war. No water. No water. No water. If Ethiopia now cut the water from Egypt and they are building dams, all those countries here will be doomed. Turkey building dams everywhere here. Syria is dying. Iraq is dying. Iran is dying. Saudi Arabia, bye-bye. No water. It's a dead land. This alone is a reason for war. The coming war in the Middle East is not going to be about oil. It's going to be about water. So I say you are lucky if you don't live there. Do you know that in countries like in Jordan, you can't even flush your toilet seat? Especially in the summertime. And they give you like maybe once a week water to your house. So there is many millions of reasons for war and the war is coming. It might be you're lucky that you don't witness that day when the whole earth, especially big nations, go at war together, like Russia versus America or China versus, uh, you know, or even India, you know, India and Pakistan, Pakistan. Uh, for sure, I believe India will win the war, but it's still, still going to be very costly, but at least will be limited in that area, you know, even if they use nukes, because their nukes is not that much big. It's like, a, let's say, falafel nukes. Uh, but still, it's going to be massive. Right? Maybe, uh, like, I mean, we don't want to give a bad image for the future, but when this war happened, the future is not a future no more. There's no future. <clears throat> Thank you, Panatation. Thank you, my friend. All right. Yeah, you know, India and Pakistan, if they go at war, both of them, they are very poor, even though uh, India is way more advanced. But reality is, both countries are in a very horrible shape. Uh, and, you know, sadly, because nobody trusts his neighbor, as we said, and we have to, not to trust. Uh, so, like, country like India, which is very poor, and instead of spending the money for you know, building schools, better life, education, uh, hospitals. Uh, what they can do, they have to spend a lot of money for war. Because war is coming. It's, um, it, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just about time. It's not a choice. And yeah, there's other reason. You see, it's not conspiracy that big companies, they want war because war make money, like uh, more shooting, more animation, whatever the animation is. It's not a secret. But we don't want to blame the companies for everything. There is there is religion. There is a, a hatred, historical hatred, revenge between nations. Like, if you go right now and you hear any TV stations in uh, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, uh, they keep talking the Persian, the Persian, the Persian. Why they keep saying the word Persian? Because they are trying to ignite the hatred between them as Arab and between the Persian, because there is historical hatred between both. So always they use the word Persian. They don't use the word Iran. They don't. The Persian. Or, you know, they use other words like Safawi. It's just a statement 
have have connection with religion, have connection with the ethnic, so they can remind you of your enemy, your historic enemy. Uh, somebody trying to call. Let us see. God commanded people to go kill babies and women and animals. Let us see what this guy is talking about. I don't know if you will answer or not. Eh, he declined my call. <laughs> So he's talking uh, talking about a verse in the Bible. Uh, he's saying uh, the Amalekite or the, you know uh, you know those uh, uh, native people who live there uh, that your God in the book he did not mention which verse but I know the verse uh, Deuteronomy twenty five uh, the you know your God he command to kill their babies and to kill etc. Well you know the Old Testament teach that eye for an eye. And if you kill their babies, it's better than kill your babies, because they did. If you go to chapter 25, verse 17, 18, it says that those people, they attack the Israeli from the back first, and they kill their babies. They kill their women. They kill them from the rear. What rear mean? The rear is where women and children. At the end, the army walk in the front. Those who they are slow in the motion, they are at the end. And who are the, at the end? The women, the children, the old, the very old. So those people, they attack them in the rear. So why you can kill their babies and they cannot kill your babies? You are an idiot. I'm not saying the one who's asking. I'm saying the one who's asking you is an idiot because you don't know how to read. They attacked them from the rear, killing their women. Anyway. <clears throat> and you know, for me, like, you know, they speak now about Palestine and the Israeli attacking. Well, how come you can kill their babies and they cannot do the same to you? And the babies of Hamas tomorrow, they will be Hamas. It's a fact. Stop being hypocrite. If Hamas, they are saying, and those who believe in Allah, we will never stop fighting the Jews until we kill them all. So only stupid one, he think that those are nothing to do with those. When they come to Muhammad and they say to him, we are killing the children of non-Muslims when we attack, attack them. Muhammad, he says, so what? They are from them. Whom mean whom? So what? Muhammad, he said, okay. You can kill them, so what? They are, they are from them. So when Hamas, they attack, the Jews and they slaughter the children. Why? Because they are from them. So why when the Jews attack back and then so-called civilian they die? They are not civilians. Those are the ones who elected Hamas, support Hamas. You see, do you think really that those civilian, none of them he saw Hamas weapon going inside the UNRWA? None of the civilian he saw that Hamas hiding weapon and the hostages inside houses or hospitals or schools. Is it possible in a very high dense society where everybody is a member of Hamas almost? Nobody saw. Nobody will call the police say, hey, listen, those who you kidnap, they kidnap is here. I saw them. Not even a single one person because the civilian they support Hamas. They are Hamas. So the hypocrite one, they keep saying to you, oh, we are against the death of civilians. No, they are not civilians. Even the Israeli, by the way, they are being hypocrite. They say we, our war is not with the people of Gaza. Our war with the people of Hamas. That's a lie. That is a big fat lie. Your war with the people of Gaza because the people of Gaza is Hamas. I hate hypocrisy. 
And I hate people who lie. It doesn't matter who they are. Did you see Hamas dancing in the street? Yes. Okay. Did you see children in October 7 dancing in the street? Yes. In fact, 60% of those who entered the houses of the Jews in October 7, they were civilians. They were not even Hamas. The one who stole TVs and bicycle and refrigerator, even many of them, they kidnapped hostages. They are not Hamas. They were civilians. And then the civilian, they took the hostages and they sold them to Hamas as if they are cows. Because Islam says you can do so. You know, people, they, they are hypocrites. Nobody want to say things as it is. No, no, I said that in YouTube too. And this is why they strike me. <laughs> I say that. No, I say always strong statement. It's true. Why not? I mean, I would say it anywhere. I would say it in the street. I would say it everywhere. Hamas is every Muslim. And the only one who will oppose Hamas, he will oppose it only because he is following different Islamic agenda. That's all. Just to make it simple for you, do you know that Osama bin Laden is Hamas? He was a member of Hamas, yes. Muslim Brotherhood. Do you know that Az Zawahri? He was a member of Muslim Brotherhood. Do you know that Erdogan is a member of Muslim Brotherhood? Do you know that the Prince of Qatar is a Muslim Brotherhood? Do you know that Obama, he built a mosque, he built a place to, to pray inside the White House for Muslim Brotherhood? Do you know that Obama, he hired a consultant in the White House It was a member of Muslim Brotherhood? Do you know that Trump, he said he will label them as terrorists and then the coward, he bowed down to them? Because they told him, if you do that, you cannot have a relationship with Qatar and Erdogan, Petito, Trump. It's true. This organization is in every country in the world. They have centers. Do you remember the guy who wanted to debate me? And he was where? I forgot, in Taiwan, I think. Taiwan? You know, anyone remember him? Potato? He's a Muslim Brotherhood. They have center everywhere. In Switzerland, in France, in Germany, all of Europe. They have companies, they have organization, they have a print shop, they have manufacturers, they own banks. This is the biggest organization you can imagine. A massive network. Everything you see around you, they have influence in it. Did you notice that now, when the Ukrainian, they discuss releasing soldiers exchange with the Russian, who is the one, who is the middleman? Emirat. When the Israeli, they want to release their hostages, who is the middleman? Qatar. When they want to do, uh, you know, agreement with the uh, what they call it the, the silk line whatever they call it who is the, the uh, saudi arabia so they became the center of all politics because of their money and because those muslims they knew that those western you know politicians they are easy to buy they are buying everything they are buying your stadium stadium there is you see the American, they got so crazy because the Chinese are buying your land. How come they don't get crazy for the Saudi buying your lands? How come the Saudi is okay, the Chinese is not?
Why? The Saudi who did 9-11, they are a friendly nation to us? Or because they are in bed with the politician and they sponsor them and they give them money under the table and above the table? Read. And they are buying land from long time. It's not now. California, Arizona, you name it. Why Saudi Arabia bought 14,000 acre 2016 2014 2023 <laughs> hmm? how come they go crazy because the Chinese are buying but nobody is upset about the Saudi Arizona to cancel leases allowing Saudi owned farm Saudi owned farm why the Saudi own farms in USA we don't have American who can own farms. Hmm. Yeah, they are anti-Chinese, but they are friendly to Saudi Arabia. Because the Chinese are not paying them under the table. Did you see IDF bomb Abdul Mosque? You can play many time video. They are not bombing the mosque because it's a mosque. They are bombing the mosque because people they are you know. CP, why you let people insult Western? Are you are Western? I don't know you are Western. I thought you are Eastern. I don't know. I have a. I have a problem with confusion about direction. I'm like, you know, like Biden. When I go in the stage, I don't see which east, which one is the west. <clears throat> yeah, but the good thing in America, you know, people, if they move and they, uh, you know, they question, etc., you can make a difference. But if you don't, like now, you see they are canceling a deal with them. That's good. You can make a difference here. Here, politician, they fear the public opinion. In dictator land, there's no public opinion anyway. There's one leader, he will win the election. There's no election anyway. Like, what is, when the last time there's election in Emirat? <laughs> who elect who? Who elect the Prince of Qatar or the King of Saudi Arabia? Uh, you know, those, this is a land of dictator. You know, dictatorship can be very useful in order of, let us say, the country don't keep changing direction every few years, like what happened now. Trump, he took the over, he built the wall before he finished it. Another idiot, he come, he want to take down the wall. Then Trump, he come back, and then he will build the wall. And then another world, and then he will destroy the wall. So this is the negative side of democracy. The positive side of it, that you can talk, you can change the mind of people, and you can expose a dictator if he is false, if he's a bad person. But not all the time, dictator is a bad person. He can be bringing, he can be a person who bring, let us say, the best times for his nation. But this dictator have to be an honest man who fear sin, and he love to do good for his people. So he's not dictating because he, you know, to to worship himself. He is dictating to save the nation, to build the nation. But how you can guarantee that that is the issue otherwise dictatorship if he's a good man as a system is way better than so-called democracy because democracy is it moving you nowhere everybody speak in different direction and four-year democrat four years republican we go 180 degree we go back to zero and we accomplish nothing 
So now Trump, he was in the office. Okay. Democrat, they came. Where, where are we now? Zero, if not minus. In the case of dictator, he won't, he went in the, let's say he went south. That's it. He's going south. But in the case of uh, democracy, two parties who oppose each other in everything, it's like, you know, somebody building a, a building a building, you know, and then when they arrive to the 100th floor, another contractor take over the business and he say, you know what, uh, we do not need this building, take it down. So we build, we build, we build, we build, and then we arrive to the top. Now we have, it's time to take it, to take it down. Then the other party will come and will say, okay, now, no, we need this building. Let us build. We build, we build, we build, we build, we build. So and by time we accomplish nothing. We're still in zero. In the case of dictator, he will keep building. Building after building after building, because that's it. This is a decision. He thinks this is the right thing to do. And the West, maybe it's one of its strength is uh, uh, freedom uh, of speech and democracy, but in the same time, it's one of massive weakness too. Because uh, there is no decision really can be made and uh, uh, history. Or the babies are not innocent. Why do you use Prophet Khadr? Oh, okay. I think I know who is this Abdul. Hello? Hey Abdul, how are you? What do you mean? Uh, you are ultimate fart. <laughs> Son of Muta. Uh, why are you laughing? Uh, are you leaking now? Are you leaking? <laughs> what? Uh, it's just stupid. <laughs> hey, I'm going to wait for you until you finish your love. Just get lost. I smell shit from a distance of 10,000 miles. He was surprised how I know it is him. <laughs> Excuse my language. Yeah, he was surprised. He, before he talked, I know it's him, you know. He did not even say a word. I know it's him. No, no. Uh, all right. Do we have any Mohammedan? May Allah CWT curse me. What happened to Allah? How Allah became CWT? What is the what is the letters they use for bathroom in America? Anyone can tell me? What is the letters they use for WC? What? What do you mean? May Allah SWT. What happened to your God? He you changed his name? Is that his last name or something? Hey, Mujahid, what, uh, what Allah is uh, WT? What, what, what is that? Sewage? What, I mean, what does that mean? I'm waiting for you, Mujahid. What, you know, I put you on the screen. People are waiting for you. They can't wait.
What? It's mean most glorified, most high. Huh? That is the most stupid answer ever. Give me the word in Arabic. Let us see if this is what it says. Guys, the most uh, the most glorified. Where it says in Arabic that? The most glorified. All right. Oh boy, let me show you your God. Uh. Let us see. We have maybe the same potato, maybe not. Let us see your God. Hello? Hey, no problem. How I can help you, my friend? No, no. I, I, you know, I just want to give thanks to the Lord for you and your ministry. And you inspired me so much. I'm happy to hear so. Uh, do you like to say anything for us, your life on air? Hey, um, no, I just want to give thanks. And I just um, give thanks for all those young people that you're raising up through watching your ministry. All right. You, you, your, your accent, like, are you from Australia or something like this? I'm from uh, Northern Ireland. But oh, Northern Ireland. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds like, you know, a kind of, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, how, how you understand my English? Is it okay, my English, or it sounds funny? English is, your English is very good. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's very good. All I right. listen to a lot. I listen to you nearly every day. Yeah, I, I, I'm planning to open university in... Uh, in Ireland to teach English to, to Irish people. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be very good. Yeah. If, if Muhammad become a prophet and he's a best teacher, I can be teaching English too. <laughs> well, one, one thing for sure, he's not a prophet, brother. No, thank God. I am not, uh, I'm not a scumbag like Muhammad anyway. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Anyway, thank you, brother. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. God, God bless. God bless. Bye -bye. God bless. Yeah, I'm very humble, you know. I want to teach really British people in English, you know, Irish people English, because I noticed they don't speak good English. But then I said to myself, I have better things to do, you know, like teaching English, come on, you know. So I said, it's enough, I taught, uh, what is his name, his student? Shakespeare? You know Shakespeare? Uh, it's enough. I mean, teaching one, he will teach the rest. I added my part. Anyone, do you remember the speech of Al-Qazafi when he spoke about Sheikh, Sheikh Isbar, he's an Arab? <laughs> he said, Sheikh Isbar, had a Muslim. Ism al-Hagigi, Sheikh Isbar. No Shakespeare. The word democracy coming from the Arabic word democracy. So he was saying Shakespeare was an Arab. And democracy is an Arab word, Arabic language, mean bring the chairs. <laughs> democracy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know, when Al Qazafi was a president, you see how what money can do? So, what he do? He go to Africa and he give a check to all those african leaders you know nigeria and then they even they named him as the king of kings of africa look how what money can do the king of kings of africa i mean libya don't even have like a three million population at the, in his time and maybe now is less after the war and there's countries who have like a hundred million hundred something million and yet he is the king of the kings of Africa. This is what money can do, you know. <laughs> he had too much money. He didn't know what to do with it. So he gave them checks. And those checks made him win the election. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Let us see. Hello? You change your name, you come back, potato, why? 
You are not ultimate fart. You are the fart itself. If you are not a man even to use your voice, you idiot. Why am I talk to you? Get lost. Anyway. So if you go in the hadith, you will see that Allah, in the judgment day, he will show his shin. Uh, look at this hadith here. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It touched my... <clears throat> Indeed, the first batch to enter paradise will appear like the moon of a night that is full. <sighs> Which means it will be so white. The second will appear like the color of the most beautiful bright star. Supposedly now the star is, is more less bright than the moon. <laughs> this is what Muhammad is saying. Muhammad, he thinks that the moon is more bright than the star. This is how stupid he is. And then he says, uh, each man among them shall have two wives, each wife wearing 70 bracelets. Man. That's so hot. With the marrow of their shin being visible from behind them. I cannot describe for you such a scenery. They are wearing 70, by the way, the, the bracelet is false, you know. Hulla is not a, is not a bracelet. The translator is an idiot. Uh, this is about clothing. She's wearing, this is why he's talking to seeing the, the shin. So they are wearing 70 uh, layer of a clothing, yet you can see through even the bones. So what's the point of wearing 70 dress? That's it. Muhammad is stuck with number 70. What we can say. They have to make it 70. That's very deep. Actually, they are very deep. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, here you will see it says, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, Our Lord will lay bare his shin. And the believer and men and women will prostrate themselves in front of the shin. That's deep. The shin of Allah. I mean, this is the God who have a shin. Oh. Look at this. Uh, yeah, look at the women here. If you wear enter a wire through it, it's a stone that if you enter a wire through it, then you polish it, cloudness away, you would surely be able to see through it. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, a man made his wife like the back of his mother. Mm -hmm. Then he had intercourse with her. Oh. And then he atoned for it. Before he atoned for it. He came to the Prophet S-A-W-S and he informed him about this matter. Hey Prophet, yesterday I told my wife to bend over and she gave me her bum, and then, you know, I hold her, and uh, like he started telling him what he did. The prophet, he said to him, What moved you to the action you have committed? He replied, I saw the whiteness of her shin <laughs> in a moonlight. <laughs> he said, Keep away from her until expired for your deed. That's deep. 
But then Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran, it says, Nitha'ukum harthun lakum, your women is a tirth for you, so dig your tirth as you wish. Oh boy. Uh, let us see. Uh -huh. Look at this amazing report. This is very important. Take a note, take a note. The Messenger of Allah, he said during the prayer, he placed his left foot under his right thigh. And the shin, he spread it his right foot and placed it his left head hand on his left knee. <laughs> Oh boy. Endless, endless. Uh, yeah, this is the same. I look at this one, what we will have in heaven. The, and by the way, Muhammad, he keep giving the promises. None of them fit with the other one. Look, this one is the same as about the first batch who entered paradise. You will see here he's different. He's giving different, uh, uh, different report about what will happen. The first batch enter paradise will appear like the moon of a bright night. It's full. Uh, they do not spit. That's deep. And nor their nose run. Oh boy. Nor they defecate. Their vessels are, are gold and their cumps are silver and gold. Their perfume. The call all of this description. And then he would mention again the shin of his wife he can see through. A lot of wisdom, a lot of wisdom. Mm. All right, let's see. And here Muhammad is teaching us something very scientific, that the sun uh, come from between the two horn of shaitan, and this is proving to be accurate. And even uh, scientist Dr. Trucker Carson, the idiot, he approved it. Um, yeah. Ah, endless stories. Do we have any brave Mohammedan who will not change his voice? A triggered a Abdul, he can't stop talking about Jesus now. Sure, sure. I mean, if his God could not stop talking about Jesus because he fear him. Right? Mm. Any Mohammedan? Muhammad's stories are endless, but I'm glad that the Muslims, they were writing those stories, so we can laugh today. Hmm. He said that Jesus, he saved his balls. Oh, okay, that's mean he don't have any. Any Mohammedan? It's like I say to you, I will save your balls for you. That's mean you don't have them. Somebody else got them. <clears throat> Any brave Mohammedan? Look how all those stories are so stupid. Hmm. All right, look like we are out of customers for today.
By the way, here, this hadith, here, it shows you how stupid Muhammad is. According to Muhammad, in the day of judgment, uh, look what will happen. The Christian will say, they will, they will be asked, what do you use to worship? To worship? They will reply, we use to worship the Messiah, the Son of Allah. It will be said, you are a liar. Allah has neither a wife nor a son. <laughs> and this is a clear evidence that Muhammad is a big fraud because he think that when the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is a son of God, not a son of Allah, that means that we believe that God have a wife and therefore he has a son. So the response is so clear that the one who established such a garbage cult do not even know what we believe. Because why you are saying that to the Christians? If none of the Christians believe that God have a wife and then they have a son. Nobody. Find me one a Christian, he believe in that. So the answer here supposedly that the God of Muslim, he will say to them, you are a liar. Allah does not have a wife, neither a son. So obviously, Muhammad as a fool, who is a pagan man, he stole some information from a Christianity. He did not know even the name of Jesus. He called him Isa. And uh, he, he messed up all the names, actually. Like sometimes he say Abraham, sometimes he say Ibrahim. He didn't know what to say it. So obviously he was using the word Ibrahim when he did not know, and later he learned that it is Abraham, so he starts saying Abraham. Uh, uh, the same as uh, Yahya. Who is Yahya? Who is this guy, Yahya? So all the names, you know, like there is only few names in the Quran, they are coming right. Like Israel. But the rest are wrong. Uh, <clears throat> and this wine actually now in the new copies, they they are changing those new words, trying to hide the mistakes. It is. <clears throat> but I cannot find it really <laughs> in the Quran today, the one they publish online. So if we go, let us see, let us try. If we search for the word Abraham, let us see if we can find it in the Quran today. See? Zero. Let me show you. I just search for it. It's not, cannot be found. And you know, the funny is, they say to you that they did not change the Quran. Uh, this should be in the chapter of the cow verse number 15 but we cannot find it let me see if I can do this <clears throat> we add the ya yeah. we go to uh, 
as I, as I remember. Uh, no chapter. Mm. No, no, actually not verse number 15. Hold on, I think verse... Uh, yeah, because it's hard to find where it is now. They change all the books. Uh, See, all of them now, they are coming as Ibrahim. Abraham is gone. Let us see. Give me a minute. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I cannot find really any published. I'm just looking, maybe I can find the picture. Yeah, they are trying to hide it. I remember once somebody from Indonesia, he challenged me to show him, if you remember, and I got him busted with no mercy. Um, we will find it. I'm looking at images. Maybe we can find the Quran. What is Qala Ibrahim? I found an image here. Let us see. Hold on. Uh, uh huh. Okay. It should be. I found an image. That's good. If we go here, okay. Let us visit this one here. So those are images. Good to have them. And let me show you. But now we cannot find them, and I don't find them in the internet no more. So here it says. All those dots, it says Abraham, not Ibrahim. Abraham. But in the Quran today, we don't see that. It's gone. So if we go the same verse, and we search here, So here, if you read with me, they change it and they make it Ibrahim. But in the original Quran, it is Abraham as we showed you. It is as it is in English. And this is the image as we showed you. And... And this is the difference between them, just to show you 
how, how we recognize. So the first one in red in the top is Abraham. You see it? And the second one, you will see the difference here. Let me put, put a line so you can see with me where is the, the difference in the language. Here you will notice there is those two dots here. You see it? They are not exist here. So the one in the top is Abraham. The one in the bomb is Ibrahim. And here you ask yourself how this guy is a prophet of God and he don't know and he changed the name. And how the name, you know, there's a big difference between Ibrahim and Abraham. It's a name, you know. And none of those letters are not like, let us say, sometime in language there is extra letters. You can change it. Like I can say, like in Arabic, Al-Bayt. Al-Bayt mean the house. But the origin word is Bayt. I say Al-Bayt, which means the house, to make it specific about a certain house, like here. إِذْ جَعَلْنَا Bayt, The origin of the word is Bayt. I'm using the mouse, so... But it's okay. I don't have uh, like, uh, you know. So this is the word bait, the origin of it. But here we see it written as al bait. So those two letters in the beginning can be taken off. And if we connect it, that will make it like this, al bait. Two dots that make it ya. Two dots here that make it t. One dot will make it ba. So al bait and bait. The difference between them here, there's Al, which means the. But in the case of Abraham, this is a singular name of an individual. There's no additional letters, and additional letters have to be in the either in the beginning or at the end. But as you see, the difference is almost in the middle. Why? Because Muhammad, obviously, he learned in certain time that the correct name is Abraham so he starts using Abraham instead of Ibrahim so somebody told him you idiot who is who is this guy there's no Ibrahim so he starts using Abraham but in English look what they do and remember when the Lord of Ibrahim You see this letter here? Is not exist really in this letter, in this uh, verse. It is Abraham. <clears throat> All right. Uh, anyone have a question? No questions? Okay. Maybe you guys don't like uh, speaking about languages. You know, knowing languages is the key of knowledge. You can find, you can even change the way you read the Bible if you know uh, uh, Aramaic or Hebrew, the same as the Quran. Always, and if you know Arabic and Aramaic and Hebrew, that will be astonishing because that will open a lot of doors for you. Sadly, I do not know all these languages, you know, but I wish. Languages is the key of understanding not only culture, but what is behind words? You know, like if you go right now and sit with your friend, who they are from, the, you are from the same town, from the same country, you grow up in the same place. So you have a you have a background of words you use. If you say it to me, I don't know what they mean. They, they can be confusing, you know. Like I, I told you once when I 
when I went from a church, like first time in America, I went to a church, uh, a, a nice uh, a guy, he went with me and he would invite me to eat with him. He said, do you want to eat? I said, sure. And then he said, let us eat hot dogs. In my head, I said, what the heck, this guy want to feed me dogs? I'm not going to eat dogs. What's wrong with this guy? He eat dogs, really? We just came, you know. So, and they said to him, no, you know what? I'm going to go eat home. It's okay, you know. He said, what, uh, you, a second ago, you said to me, you are hungry. What happened? Did I do anything wrong, you know? I said, you know, like, it's later. You know, maybe next time, next time, you know, next time. And I was saying to myself what I did to myself. A second ago, I said, yeah, we can eat. And now, but this guy want to feed me dogs. I mean, come on. So it doesn't make sense, hot dogs. And in my mind, I'm going to eat dogs. But for sure, he will not invite me for dogs. He want to feed me cats, you know. <laughs> and this is exactly what I mean by understanding the language. So you might read something after a thousand years, like hot dogs. But if you do not know really in the culture, what is that? You might see and understand something totally different from what is meant. You might say to yourself, oh, American, they have restaurant to eat dogs. Okay. And it's hot dogs. That's even supposedly better. So understanding the language is by understanding the culture and the history of it. So you have to study both. And then that will open a lot of doors for you. Even secrets. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I know, you don't want to eat cold dogs. Like cold cats, maybe. <laughs> the leaders of the underground churches in North Africa country spoke several languages. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, first of all, you have to be really uh, smart to know many languages. In the same time, Sometimes it's not just about being smart, maybe not necessarily, but you can be gifted. Like if you go in the Philippines and you ask a Filipino to sing, nobody can beat the Filipinos in singing. They knew every song. They have a memory. They have a, they have a computer machine for songs. That's all. And even when they sing, they don't even have an accent of a Filipino. Like if they, if they sing a, a, like a countryside, a, a country song, American, Texas, you know, you would think that the one is singing is really not a Filipino. You would think he is a, from Texas who was born there. So they are gifted. They have a brain which is, in a certain way, is so much photogenic for music. This is their nature. If you ask me, I cannot even say one song. I don't know. I don't. I cannot even say like one line of a song. It's not my interest. Uh, every nation they have they have something uh, special about them, uh, and that's always involved with the nature, with the culture. Uh, with the traditions, with even where you live, like, you know, the uh, you live in the desert, you live in the sea, you live in an island, you live, etc. Every nation have, an, have a fingerprint of the past and go deep inside them. So language is simply your passport, let us say, uh, the stamp, the one which is telling us, telling us who, the, your DNA. Your language is your DNA. As an example, you will find some languages are not comfortable to say. They are not even comfortable, not comfortable to sing. As an example, if I listen to a Chinese song, I don't like it. But if I listen to Chinese flute, it's beautiful. But for a Chinese person, if he listen to a Chinese song, he love it. If you know, I remember like you know, I heard the Ch uh, the Thailand in Thai, you know, Thailand uh, uh, singing. Man, it's, for me, it's I cannot even handle it. Very annoying. The music is annoying. The song is annoying. The voice is annoying. But for those who live there, they enjoy it. 
So why you enjoy something someone else don't enjoy? Because simply you did not grow up with it. You are not used to it. And it's not, let us say, the roots of this music does not touch you. You have nothing to do with it. You don't belong to it. That's why I don't like it. Um, rap songs and I don't find I don't find rap songs are songs those are not songs you know uh, uh, this is again just a culture thing rap is someone he cannot he don't have the ability to make point and actually, I don't know. For me, I found that English poet is not a poet. I find it boring. It's not strong. Language is not so powerful. If you go and read an Arabic poet, it's way more. I mean, there is there is a huge difference. When I read the Arab English poet, I don't see point. I see I don't know. I see just uh, nothing. But. There is a reason for that. The English as a language is very uh, simple and you don't have, it's not a rich with words. People of the desert, those people who, that Arab are Arab is people who live in the desert. This is what Arab mean, desert people. So they don't have anything to be busy with. They don't have nature, they don't have snow, they don't have rivers, they don't have uh, trees, they don't have anything. So what they do at night? Language. So they spend the night before they sleep making poetry. I, I showed you many times before, like how many, how many words, as it, let us compare, how many words are the name of the lion in English? Anybody can tell me? In English, how many? Like how many words can be given to a lion? Like when you say a lion, if you say hey, there's other word beside lion. <clears throat> you know, English is not my first language, so you tell me. <clears throat> How many? There's only one? Okay. Let me show you the name of the line. That's as an example, you know, as an example. This is, oh, hold on. This is not, uh, oh, yeah, those are the names of the lines. This is some of it, actually. Let me see the from website. This is here, it doesn't have like maybe 200 of them. There should be more than 300 names. Um, Okay, here is better. All those are the names of one animal. It is the lion. And that goes for other animals too, not only necessarily only the, the, the lion, you know. All of this is just a lion, the word lion, only. So, how in the world that happened you know why why all those words because each one of them de describe something different all of them is a word mean lion but each one of them describe his like one of them describe his head the other one describe his neck the other one describe something special about this lion uh so <clears throat> uh when a when a man want to make a poetry he have a 300 words to describe a lion. And this is what will make the, the poetry is so rich. They can go like here. This is this word here, Sarhan. And there is many, like uh, Osama bin Laden, by the way, his name is a lion. Osama, I mean, is a lion, you know? Uh, all those words have tons of meaning. 
but all of them they are names of one animal and that goes for any like I can search for tiger I can search for uh, horse I can search so English is very limited Arabic is 348 names for the lion I'm sure there's more I don't think this is correct but this is what it says 348 words No, in the old days, not only they have plenty of spare time, sorry, they have all the time. There's no TV, there's no internet. By by 5 p.m., it's the middle of the night. I mean, people sleep, especially in winter. What do you do? You know, like, what do you do? Look at the, look at Google Translation. Oh, boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah actually you are right the lion have more names than Allah I don't know why my microphone is going mute. What happened? Did I do something? I think I touched it by mistake. Yeah, my 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 uh, microphone. If you touch it, there is an option here. If you touch it by mistake, you mute it. So it's my fault. Sorry, maybe I touch it. I got excited. I move my hands, and you don't. I don't have a camera, so you don't see that my hands is moving all the time. I'm talking to you. And I think my hand touched the microphone. All right. Uh, actually, this microphone is... I bought a microphone and I made a video two days ago. Uh, I will return it. I mean, I was so disappointed when I made a video uh, to record and post. The noise was so bad. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> you, you know, I, I wanted to, to get a microphone to use it with my phone. Uh, to have a good sound when I talk, when I make a video, like using my phone, but it wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. You cannot hear the hand moving? <laughs> what do you mean? You think my hands are wings? <laughs> Like, <laughs> you can hear my hands moving, really? Are you serious? I don't think so. This microphone is really good. It, uh, it uh, like, you know, uh, most of microphones, they will give you a background noise.
So like when you have a moment of silence, that will make noise. Most of microphones, they cannot, they cannot do good. This one, this one is really good. But, uh, you know, it's too big to carry it around. And uh, uh, it's not good for a phone. It's, it's made for a computer. Uh, all right, right. You used to always hear birds in the background. Ah, this is my birds. Okay, that's enough, you know. People, anyway. I mean, he loved to talk to you guys, but you know, this guy is, if he take over the microphone, he will spend the whole night singing for you. Yeah, go now, go. Yeah, you know, you can go. Oh, but come on, I mean, you just said what you said, and that's it. We cannot fix it. What? You want to apologize? Oh, okay. All right, so he's saying, you know, uh, uh, he just said, uh, Islam without lies dies. Okay, just, I'm translating for you. If you remember that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but Suleiman, he was... Uh, <laughs> Do you remember? Allah, he, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but Suleiman, he spoke to the ant. <laughs> the very confused Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody? He speak the language of the birds, yet he's, you know, he, you know, he, he speak to the ants. <laughs> if you go here. Uh, let's see here in chapter 27 the chapter of the ants this is why it's called the ant actually so Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds but then Suleiman he started talking to the ant and he understood the ant and by the way the ants they don't speak ants they they communicate yes but they don't speak here it says she said ants they communicate by vibration and by uh, uh, chemical they don't talk they are deaf actually and this additional proof that the Quran is just a stupid book <clears throat> all right well I am going to leave you with the language of the birds for today so you might understand the language of the ants. This is how smart Muhammad is. Uh, and uh, here in the story here, Suleiman, he was in the top of his flying carpet and he was in the sky, yet he heard the ant saying to the other ants. Yeah, yeah, ants, they, they, they communicate by vibration. They look at the body of each other. They have like Morse code. Yeah. And they have two ways, either chemical. Let us say uh, an ant, she found uh, uh, food somewhere. So she will drag in her way uh, a smell of chemical in the ground. And then the ants, they will walk in that way. That's why you, you might see the ant following just one way. And even they are going on the top of each other. As if the whole world is, you know, because they, they uh, uh, this is how they find their way. You will find all the ants just in a straight way, as if it's really a highway, and that's it. This is the only road. Why? Because the ant left chemical as a, as a GPS to go and follow it. <clears throat> all right. I want to say thank you all for being here and uh, I hope by tomorrow you will learn all, way, all of you the language of the ants so we can talk about it and we can speak to ants and uh, if you are moving too much in your seat, you know, Allah will say to you, there's ants in your pants 
and uh, obviously this is from the wisdom of Allah and Allah knows best as usual so thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and uh, we say happy happy Valentine for you uh, and remember Valentine have nothing to do with the uh, sleeping around fornication and all kind of faith uh, it's a good day was exist and happen for a good reason it was for marriage it was for real love it's not about fornication it's not about sleeping around it's not about uh, all what many people they do it was about if a man he want to get married he have the right to marry the women he love her that's all and if a man he love a woman he marry a woman he don't sleep with women he married that woman he love her he spend the rest of his life with her I mean you know even birds there's many birds when their spouse die they die they don't even go and look for anyone you know they stay there is many you can search them online so if an animal is a bird have emotion have loyalty have love what about our gifted a human you know we are gifted and this is why I say always that Christ is the only one who bring you back to your humanity sadly people today they want to live like animals animals they go and jump from female to female female go with many men and then by time you know you will you will feel you are used and abused and nobody can, you know, uh, you cannot blame anyone. It's it's you who did it. You know, like, to fornicate, you need two people, not only one. So don't blame anybody, blame yourself. So either we go back to our humanity, God, he created Adam and Eve, and, or, we live like animals, like Muhammad. We want more women, and women want more men, and we confirm our like we we uh, say uh, uh, we convince ourselves that this is happiness. In fact, I never saw a man who have many partners is happy. He will have an end of misery. Same for a woman. If you if you as a woman every few days you have a new boyfriend, your brain your brain cannot even function when it's come. To know what you want because you give yourself to many men and you became a sexual object you are not even a woman no more you are just a sex toy men replace you change you use you throw you and then when you are old then those men they will not care for you they will go and look for someone younger because they have no need for you so you abused yourself <clears throat> and you have no family even if you have kids you have no family because family is a father mother children there's a huge difference between having a family and being just alone and that will make you struggle like there's many women they make a mistake and the mistake is okay they sleep with somebody they have a baby from this person but then you will struggle a lot you will be responsible for this child. You have to support him. You have to be the mother, the father, the daddy, the uncle. You have to be everybody. So you did not enjoy really having a family. And it will take a long time before this baby become a man or a, or a lady. So why want to do that to ourselves? And even the child will, will, will miss having a father. Most of the crimes we see in USA, it's happening by children who grow up in a house have no parents. It's a fact. So don't destroy yourself. Don't punish yourself. There's a huge difference between love and sex. Sex, even plants, they have they have sexual process. Even plants. Sex, the, the reason for sex is to reproduce. 
It was not for the joy. Love is a different story. Love is not the sex, even though sex is part of it because you love the other gender. And the reason you love the other gender because the other gender have what you don't have. Complete you, like you are a man, you are tough, you are harsh, she is kind, she is soft, she is nice, she is sweet. Uh, uh, the woman, she will love you for the same reason. And if you act like a woman, a woman, she will not like you because she don't want a man who look like a woman, talk like a woman. She want a man who look like a man, act like a man, and do what men do. So, because you are different, it's like, you know, the two, uh, uh, the, 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 the electric current. There's no current if there's no negative and there's no positive. So both of you, you make a current. But this current was not, the purpose of it is sexual. It was, the purpose of it is a family, establish a community, a reproduction through love, not through sex. If we reproduce through sex only, then we will have animals in the street. We will not have society. We will not have criminals. We have people shoot each other. And maybe you are lucky that you you have a mother, she is a good woman, even if she made a mistake and she have a child out of marriage. But this is not all the time happen. You know, a woman, she take care of you. She, you know, she is strong. She is... Uh, uh, you know, she she did the part of a father, the part of a mother in the same time. But this is very hard to find. <clears throat> anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And Ante will see you soon again. God is good. So is Jesus. And again, happy Valentine. And Muslims, you cannot run away from our holy day because you have none. See ya.